Astronomers have found a new class of exoplanets. What does this mean for researchers' never-ending search for life? Look, it's quite exciting because, you know, we look at our solar system and we see Earth and we see that Mars and Venus are similar in Earth. Obviously, the atmospheres are different, but they're about the same size. They're rocky planets with atmospheres. We then look at Jupiter and Saturn, these gas giants. We see Uranus and Neptune, that there's what we call these ice giants. Well, it appears that there is a class of planet we call mini Neptunes, and these fall between kind of Earth and Neptune. So they're a small version of Neptune. But what's exciting about it is that because they're smaller than Neptune, they have more rocky core, so they're more rocky like Earth, but they still have lots of hydrogen. And some of these planets are orbiting their stars in a position where liquid water can exist. So here you have a planet that can be quite abundant in the ingredients for life, and in an environment that can keep life alive, essentially, that there is water, that there is not too cold, uh, and that's a bit warm. And the amazing thing about this is that about 20% or so, so far of all, all the other star systems we've looked at, all the stars in nighttime sky, have these mini Neptunes. So this may be the type of planet we should be focusing on to study, to look for life, not just the things like Earth, but these kind of cousins, as it like, of Earth's. Yeah, another exciting development. Brad Tucker, we have to leave it there. Thanks for joining me.